Hello, beautiful fire signs. It's Lulu, and today I'm going to do your spiritual conversation. Uh, all right. This is for Aries, Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius. Whoever it resonates with, if it doesn't apply, let it fly. If something applies, let the rest fly. Okay? Now then. Thank you for your likes, shares, subscribes, and comments. Thank you for your love and support. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate it so much. Thank you for your patience as well. Okay. All right. Any information that you need is in the description box. Yes, that's correct. Yes. No. Yes. All right. I only have one Instagram and it is at the house of Oshun. That's my only Instagram. Okay. I have one for the apparel and all that, but I'm not active on those. It's house.anthems, but that's neither here nor there. Like I said, the house of Oshun, okay? Now then, what do you have for my beautiful fire signs? Because they are ready. They like get to it. Okay. Can I get do my spiel first until I start dropping the intros on here? Because what? What information do you have for my fire signs, please? Thank you. Ooh, y'all walking into the door of spirit already. Already. Maybe in a meditative state right now. So you may be in a... Some of y'all may be going through the dark night of the soul or coming out of it. You are on the end where um, you are at the, the resting space, uh, space of it um, overall. Because you got an ascended master here. Some of you are ascended masters. Overall, that is what you came here to um, elevate to, or you are an ascended master um, having a human experience. Poor baby. Me. All right. So the first card out is a door spirit. It's the 32. Um, this is collaborating with spirit. This is collaborating with your angels, gods, ancestors, or what have you, God. But this is overall moving you into some changing times. Things are about to really turn up. This may even be an awareness of what it is that you came here to do, um, more so than not, okay? Um, mm, it's beautiful. Here's the thing about awakening like this. When you awaken in this space, and you got the heart chakra at the center, center of this uh, uh, fire signs. I just did the earth sign reading. <sighs> Let's take our time, honey, because this is some strong energy. Y'all done been through some things, and y'all are really waking up, and it's probably been a lot of uh, shedding. Shedding weight, actual weight, because you let go of a lot of things you were holding on to. Uh, shedding things uh, mentally. Uh, physically or things that tangible things you may be shedding things like that you may be um, reevaluating your budget on a whole different level you may be taking it to like actually getting you a CPA or what have you but um, overall this is a lot of spiritual shedding this is a lot of being held like a babe in a cot while you go through this a lot of um, sitting in this with this yin and yang the mastery okay mastering this um, beautiful energy that is coming through. Some of you may be in a situation where you met someone. Okay. We got the scales of balance, financial constraints, strategy, cornucopia of blessings, victory. <sighs> Master number 22, 11, 6. Now. Where you are and what you are going through here, there's not going to, like, you may even be thinking that you are sick. You may have all the symptoms of being sick, but you feel fine. You just feel heavy, right? You want to make sure that you are um, doing your praying and meditating on a regular basis throughout this journey, connecting, connecting, connecting. This is really using passive logic here. Um, balancing out the give and take in your life, the, the give and take in um, how you do things, reciprocity, right? But overall, this is connecting so much to 
um, a higher source, something like many of you are mystics. Many of you are just very, um, you've always known your power, but you didn't know how to um, hone it. You've always knew what type of things that you could possibly do, but now it's about to be clear. A lot of people are realizing what their purpose is, so let it play out, okay? Clarify this door to spirit here. You may begin to feel um, there may be a new gift open up as well, but you may feel spirit around you. You may feel uh, someone that you love who crossed over <clears throat> around you. Um, remember when going through this, if you don't want to see something or some certain types of things, please let it be known and be very adamant about, I don't want to see that. I don't want to know that. Okay. Here. What is this door to spirit, honey? It's judgment day. Okay. <clears throat> you said yes to your process, even though you were like, I don't know what this is. And it's like, well, we're about to show you. <laughs> so um, they also want you to leave matters in their hands and just do as you are guided when it comes to any type of legalities here. But overall, I feel as though you are being exalted. Um, there may be a lot of people praising you, people trying to get around you. Please be mindful of your energy at this time. Please be mindful of the connections that you are making at this time, because what I'm getting here is that there may be a lot of people seeing what you don't yet see. That's dangerous. So you want to be mindful of staying connected here. Clarify this yin and yang card here. This meditative state that you are moving into so that you can be healed on a soul level. This is somewhat, some of you may be going through priesthood, priest, uh, high priestess. Um, being initiated in that uh, space as well. But overall, um, there is someone who is working with you um, on your journey. Just be mindful of the synchronicities that occur surrounding a certain uh, someone who may have been here or someone is passing on the torch to you. What is this uh, yin and yang, honey? Damn, justice. I know I between these videos, I know I shuffled these cards. Earth signs had a strong reading too. Um, this is, uh, this is the, the scales clarifying the yin and yang. This is your birthright. Your path is being cleared so that you can do what you came here to do. They're saying, don't even worry, um, your little head about it. This is a master number 22. Uh, look up, look up master number 22, whether it's your actual life path number or not, but it has a lot to do with, um, your karmic responsibility in this lifetime. And I feel like some of you may have switched timelines as well. What is this healer of ages? Four of cups. You are in this space of really um, pouring into your work. Like many of you may be in a space where if you don't feel a certain way about what it is that you want to research, what it, when you go into a gathering stage, um, even with this ascended master and you healing on the soul level and trying to realize what is the spiritual meaning of that? What is the metaphysical meaning of that? This, that, and the other. With this four of cups, I just feel as though you are not open to communicating and that's good. You shouldn't be. Hopefully people who are meant to be in your life will stick around in this space where you are because that's the thing about this. Let's really quick. That's the thing about this really quick. Um, when you take your spiritual breaks or when you go within on this level, because you may be in hermit mode, um, you it's good to explain as much as you can that this is how you are moving at this in this space. So people won't, you know, because people are people. So that they won't feel as though you are ignoring them or you pull back from them and now they're going to try to match your energy when you come back around. And that don't have nothing to do with it. It's like you're not taking any offers. You're not taking any calls. Um, you're going within to really balance and, and uh, clear out a lot of what it is that you give your emotions to or your emotional attention to because the next card is the strategy card with the strategy card you are realizing in this four of cups what it is that you need to do you are taking writing names and taking notes okay um trying to figure out what direction you are going in next what makes sense and i feel as though a lot of automatic writing is going to be important for you there's going to be a lot of clarity that comes through with um your plans the way that you str uh, strategically um a strategy even with your finances because the the financial constraints is crossing this as well which could be the four of coin ace of cups trying to figure out 
um, possibly um, who you want to make an offer to or who um, you'll accept an offer from. But overall, this may even be a kundalini awakening or some beautiful new expression of things here with this four moving into this one here with this strategy with this plan with you journaling with you getting in tune with what it is you came here to do on a soul level now you are realizing you may even have new feelings about what it is that you do or, or something new that you will be doing when it comes to your purpose because everything that we do on this journey moves us into what our purpose okay what is this ace of cups team temperance you may even have, uh, you may have um, a situation in your in your life where there is um, the way that like, okay, things may have the way that you used to approach things, the way that you used to look at things, the way that you used to respond or react to things, is calling for temperance because I feel as though there is something that is happening in your life, something that is being revealed to you that is going to take for you to do things with a different approach in a different way, um, with a different frequency, a different energy. Okay, so with this temperance uh, card, and I think it came out in your other uh, spiritual conversation as well. With this temperance card, what I'm really, really getting with this Ace of Cups, um, this is a union, right? Um, it could be an actual union with someone else. But overall, I feel like this is a divine union within as well. Um, I also I also feel that you will be going back on um, looking over your notes and what it is that you come up with and see why certain things didn't happen in the past. And now you have this huge epiphany and you're just overwhelmed and overflowing with emotion and care and how you do things. And just, oh, my God, that, that couldn't have worked then because I needed to be in this space for it. The work I'm talking about is beautiful. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. What is this heart chakra? Um, heart chakra is crossing the, the door to spirit and it's crossing the, uh, it's in the, it's what they, those are crossing it. What's crossing your heart chakra is opening up to spirit more, being more, um, making yourself more available to the divine consciousness, to the allied consciousness, so that you can begin to heal even more so because there's a lot of hurt, there's a lot of pain, there's a lot of being bitter and in disgust. With something that happened to you or some things that happened to you that they got to be cleared out. <laughs> this is how you clear it out. They got to be cleared out. Because what I'm seeing here is that <clears throat> justice follows. Justice follows. Blind justice. Um, a lot of things are going to be cleared out with this um, Ascended Master. A lot of things are going to be cleared out in a way that you had no idea that that would even happen, okay? Um, I also feel that someone is going uh, to get what they deserve. If you are on the end where you are giving someone what they deserve financially or you had to pay out of pocket a whole lot more than what you thought, it's going to be okay because victory is still assured. You're also going to realize why that happened the way that it happened, okay? Um, but let's go back to this heart chakra. So with this heart chakra and this cornucopia of blessings that is crossing it here at the bottom, they're, they're, they're showing you that the more that you work from the heart, the more that you do things that you truly desire, the more that you live on purpose with purpose, forgive the past because the future ain't got shit to do with that unless you're taking it with you or using it to discern uh, certain choices, you're going to be all right. That's what they see. You're going to be all right. That's what they see. Now, I'm also seeing here where um, you may feel a shift in your heart space or you may have some type of um, pains or, you know, you might go try to get an EKG or something. I don't know. You're like, go do your thing, baby. Okay. Because I, y'all know I'm a firm believer in there are doctors who are healers and doctors are in place to use their gift the way that they're supposed to, not the ones that's with the big farm motherfucking suit, motherfucking tacos. Okay. <clears throat> fairies. Okay. If you know, like I know, Chad, make sure that you got the right kind of fairies around because some fairies be playing too much. Now, This cornucopia blessing is divinely um, here. But I also feel like there's a blessing with you and a connection that you are supposed to have. You're supposed to see things in a certain way that you connecting with certain people or a certain person is your blessing. And y'all will bless each other, but y'all will also bless us. Come on, bless us, five signs. What is y'all doing? Come on, baby. Now, ooh, solar plexus from the heart. Solar plexus from the heart. What is this uh, heart chakra? Yep. You are feeling more at home with yourself. You are feeling more um, at home 
Because the four of wands gives me home, spiritually home, your spiritual home. You no longer feel alienated from people or you found your divine counterpart as well. And maybe it's marriage right off the top. Maybe you are deciding it's probably y'all damn Aries. Them damn Aries be doing the most, don't they, y'all? Whatever I said, what I said. But it may even be that Leo. The Leos that may have been blocked for a while and now you are feeling back at home with yourself. But overall... Um, I really do feel like there is some type of uh, companionship, partnership, or what have you that is going to, is a divine contract. It has to play out. All right. So with this uh, financial constraints, what is this financial constraints? Let it go. If you've been holding on to... <clears throat> what someone owes you or trying to get what is rightfully yours, it'll come to you if it's meant to. That's what they're saying. But it's time to let something go. This is Scorpio here. Um, but overall, I am feel like there's some type of truth being uncovered. There may even be a huge lawsuit or class action suit that you will be a part of. But overall, yeah, someone doesn't feel like they have enough to have victory in a situation someone doesn't feel like they feel like if they let something one part of something that they have going on go that they won't be able to provide or protect or be the king of cups that they need to be this is someone that is very calculated when it comes to how they show their feelings express themselves very emotionally intelligent very in tune with a star player but overall <clears throat> with that five of um coins they feel as though um they may be in a space okay because we don't know how they feeling right there um they may be in a space where they don't know if they have an, enough time or attention or energy or being able to be somewhere physically or do something physically in order to make something happen. But with this death card, I think y'all got this in one of y'all other spiritual conversations that I did these, these past couple of spiritual conversations with that death card. You are constant. You're moving forward. This is the victory relief. You finally reach for the reef. I'm proud of y'all. You finally reach for it. Something kept pulling you back to your old ways, old plays, throwing old shade. And so now you are reaching for that reef and you are saying, that's it, that's all. You made a huge choice. This is a huge decision that you made. Victory is assured. It's still going to take work. It's still going to take time, effort, and attention to move forward. It's going to take time, effort, and attention to progress. But overall, they're saying here, if you um, feel lack, think lack, uh, absorb lack, you will lack. This is someone who is very adamant about me. I don't know. Let me. I need more information, man. I don't know. I don't know. And they like you know, you know what you know now, Mr. King of Cups, okay, or Mrs. or whoever. All right. So with this financial constraints as well, then you may even take a hit financially, and you and it's going. To, what is what is happening here? And that's been the theme of the day when um, with the master study as well. Um, it, because I was reading earlier and the one thing that stood out was about on the shamanic journey where um, your earthly affairs and your spiritual affairs have to be taken care of on a regular basis. So this may have something to do with that. There's an evening of a settling of accounts, so to speak, with that six. There's a settling of accounts here. And um, there are some old ways of being, being frugal or what have you so that you, because when you step in your purpose, you don't chase money. Money going to come. Money going to follow you. Whatever you need will be provided for you. So this is a change in mindset in your mindset when it comes to your finances or when it comes to uh, your um, overall physical. This is something physical here. Whatever. But um, what I'm seeing here is that there may also be a need to clean out your pantry here. Or maybe you'll start back cooking as well. That's part of your journey as well to start back getting back home to the home and doing things at home and, and, and not working so much or something like that. But overall, um, there may even be something that comes in that you may have you may have to pay for out of pocket that may cause a financial constraint. But then there will be an evening of that because even if you have to pay out of pocket for some reason, I feel as though there'll be a coupon or there'll be some kind of word of mouth or someone owes this or there's some type of negotiation where you don't have to pay that much. But they just wanted you to go back to this because the strategy also has to do with being mindful of where you are spending your money, giving your energy to your efforts to what what are you really working towards? What is the benefit, right? What are the what are your boundaries here? <clears throat> because you may have been stuck in some type of web of deceit when it came to finances as well. Clarify this victory card, and I'm going to go. 
the Knight of Swords, communication coming through. Someone is coming through with some very, they are very abrupt. They are very, look, listen to me, listen to me, listen to me, listen to me. Maybe there's some communication that you want and it's coming out of nowhere. Uh, someone is coming in with some type of information. You want to use your discernment because this is cancer. This is a chariot card. And this is like, this could be someone trying to um, plead their case. Someone maybe that you blocked or cut off or something. They're trying to plead their case. But it's like you blind to it. I'm like, oh. I'm enjoying this reef I finally got. Mm. I finally received my reef. You're being crowned. What is this uh, victory card, honey? Ten of coins. You're being crowned. This is, um, maybe you are moving here, but overall, you will be held at a high regard. I feel like you're walking even further into your purpose. That's just that on it. And there will be a lot of people who will come and try to destroy your happiness, try to destroy your foundation, try to destroy what you have. What you have. This could easily be legacy, um, committing, making balance in a, a relationship, balancing out a relationship, communicating with someone that you desire here or someone communicating with you that desires you that you thought it was over with, but boom. Okay. Cannot rest upon your laurels though. Okay. Um, like we were discussing last night on um, Instagram about relationships. You make a choice every day to be with somebody. It's not going to always be happy. It's not going to always be on a good foot. Y'all not going to always like each other, but you make a choice. But this is also buying a house as well or uh, getting some work done on your house as well. Three of Swords, yeah. I told you somebody going to come through. It's going to be heartbreaking. Some of you may even miss an opportunity with someone and they have a lot of options and now you went, your chance is out and you broke your own heart. It's right there. But um, overall, I feel like this, this Knight of Swords which it doesn't have to be an air sign. It's just someone who has a lot of information and just coming in. And look at him. Ain't even on his horse right. You're trying to woe that horse. No, you need to calm down and breathe before you talk to me because what are you doing? But um, this is someone who is maybe even heartbroken that you chose someone else or what have you. Now, what is this uh, Three of Swords? Yep, you got clarity. You are moving forward. You know that you cannot hurt in the way that you used to hurt. You cannot think of things that, the type, that be conflicted in the same way that you were conflicted before. You have clarity about something here. Yep. So now you are ready to work for things. This may be an, uh, a tangible offer that you are making, maybe a job offer or something that you are receiving that you can work with. It's going to be slow moving. It's going to take its time. But overall, it's going to take for you to be very diligent in what it is that you want to do and how you want to do it. Stay out of confusion with this Seven of Cups. Here, there may be someone trying to seduce you or someone around you. Someone is trying to be seductive, but they are um, nothing but an illusion, okay? They may be a younger earth sign or someone who is all about material things, but they don't even know what to do with them. The material things here, them receipts. She got receipts flying everywhere. She live on a horse. She ain't got no saddle. Moving forward, what is this, Seven of Cups? Yep. Coming out of the illusion and moving forward passionately to what it is that you want. There may even be someone that you are moving towards that um, is in this space of illusion, unsure of the options that they have. And you're like, no, I'm the option. That's what you come in and say, five signs. But overall, with this, yep, king of wands, that's y'all. So y'all coming in passionately and like, no, I'm the one. And the only. Get it together. That's what y'all see. Or somebody said it to y'all. Okay, but be mindful of that younger person who that person ain't nothing but about receipts. Oh my goodness. Okay, that person ain't about nothing but receipts. I feel like somebody trying to set someone else up too. And they got a long list of text messages, they got a long list of DMs. They're gonna try to expose. Let me clarify this other person because they heartbroken. They didn't get their way with them, which they way wasn't nothing that could even go nowhere. It ain't it ain't gonna produce no results. It ain't gonna produce nothing but more receipts. It's like uh, like how um, you have people who try to um, add a notch on their bed post um, on, you know, I had this person, I had that person. And if they try to leave me, I'm going to blast. I'm going to put them on blast. <sighs> it's exhausting. Now, clarify uh, that page of coin for me. Because this is someone who may have, uh, they may look the part. Um, they may, um, they do a lot to present themselves as looking the part, but they not the part. Because their inner work ain't been done. Told you they're trying to trap somebody. Be mindful of who you are giving your time, effort, and attention to. Someone is trying to blind you with words. Someone is trying to blind you with manipulation. This is manipulation. This is limiting you. But I feel like you're going to come out of it or you are come. You will come out of it or you have come out of it. Um, this is, yeah, that's it's clarifying. Look at that. They, look, they feel fortunate to be in your presence. This is someone that sees you as the wheel of fortune. 
Whether you man, chick, or child. They see you as the wheel of fortune. Yeah. And they want their way. And when they don't get their way, y'all know this is my spa break card. When they don't get their way, they going to act up. That was clarifying the page of Pinnacles. I'm out this bitch like a bouncer baby boy because, baby, I ain't got time. And we need to talk about, you know, people that just be putting people on blaze. It's just really, it don't make no sense just to be out here saying, oh, I messed with them and I did this. You really make yourself look dumb. You really make yourself look very much so like, um... Now we see why you're not worthy. Hmm? All right, I'm out.